Hi, this is Lindsay from POV Solutions, and today I want to go over on how to install a job option so you can create a print-ready, high-resolution PDF. First, you're going to open up your web browser. You're going to go over to povsolution.com. Under your Resources tab, you're going to click How to Create a PDF. On this page, take a moment, just look over some of the information that I have put on here. It includes bleeds, it includes includes resolution and color and how to actually export out the PDF. For today, we just want to have the correct job option so when you do go to export it out, you don't have to change all the different tabs, which we'll go over later. There's two places you can click on to download this file. You can click here or here. It is a zip file, so you will have to extract it. So I'm saving it down. It generally saves into your download folder. I'm going to click the folder icon and open that up. I'm going to right click and cut and I'm going to put it into the folder of my choice. Right click, paste or control V. Like I said, it is a zip file so we need to extract it. I'm going to put it in the same folder. And now we have this job option. First way I'm going to show you is through Acrobat Distiller. We're going to go to Settings, Add, it's go right to the folder that I wanted to, so we're going to select Open. And now you can see it is in there. Now this will be in every program. So if I just loaded it here, if I go into InDesign, it will be there. If I go into Adobe Illustrator, it will have that option. We're going to remove it because I want to show you how to do it in InDesign, which is my preferable way. Open up your InDesign program. As you can see, I already have a document open. It's as simple as this. You can add it right now. File, Adobe PDF Presets, click Define. And here we're going to go to Load, find the folder, open, and it's there. And that's, this, that's, that's it. So now how do we use it and why do we use it? Well, first off, how? Well, you just file, export like you would any other file. We're going to name this one. And I'm going, to ch I'm going to check this, POV pre Press, and why? Well, because the compression, because the marks and bleeds, the output, all of these are set. You don't have to change anything. And most people where they have the issue is here and here. But since you've loaded this job option, anytime you go to create a print-ready PDF, as long as your file has the extension of the bleeds at least an eighth of an inch, then you'll be okay. And if you don't know what a bleed is, go back to that resource page. We're going to export it out. It's going to open up. And as you see, we have crops and we have the bleed. The red is a representation of the cut line, so this would make Bindery very happy. And so let's just say we're going to use the standard setting that some people have sent to me. They export it out. We're going to name this 2. And I'm going to use the one that says press quality, which it makes sense. This would be a good one to use. However, it has compressed information and it does not carry crops or bleeds. So you would actually have to go in there and change that or save it as a preset if you wanted to do this. This kind of just takes that extra time out. So we're going to export out with changing nothing and as you can see this is what we get. We get an exact size of what it is. There's no crops, there's no bleeds. Bindery would probably have to under trim this or we'd have to put it into another document and oversize it somehow. Um, it's a lot of extra work and sometimes that can be billable time compared to just doing this. So now anytime you want to go make a PDF, whether it's out of AI, Photoshop, Publisher, uh, Word, any of these programs, it will always be there since you've added it to the preset. So from here you can see there is a big difference between these two and it's not compressed and it will make any printer happy. I hope this has helped you out. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.